All right, today we're gonna to be riding with this young Italian woman who, by the name of Servant of God, Santa Scorse. She was very involved in a movement called Focolare, where she developed this really strict, disciplined spiritual life. Um, and she always put God first in her life. She asked questions at church, at home. She was always seeking for truth. And so she started this er at an early age, this relationship with God. And a few uh, beautiful things that she did in her life, in her spiritual life that we can learn from are the following. First of all, she had something called the night life, where she uh, put at least a couple of minutes and some time before God in examining her conscience, everything that she did towards the day, the good, the bad, and she would write that down in her journal. And so this would help not just to prepare for the very last minute, like many of us do, but it takes time to really reflect on each and every thing. She didn't want to miss out on anything, and she had one, didn't want to compromise with any sin. It was kind of Don Bosco's policy, right? Have a great time, play, dance, sing, but everything except sin. And another thing that she did is she had always had a book in her hand when she went to daily mass. And she would write down everything that the, ha the, the priest would preach during the homily. So this helped her to really chew the word of God and really interiorize everything, be able to give the word of God himself, the word made flesh. And she always put God in first in her in her life, regardless it was with going with friends to the university, she always had this priority of putting God first. And at the university, she uh, tried to grow in her spiritual life, especially very involved and active in the Focolari movement. She also met a young man, where later she was actually convicted with rape. Um, there was an attempted rape, but she survived that. But later on, after some um, huge event at the university she was stabbed 14 times and just like Saint Maria Gretti she at during right before she passed away on the way to the hospital I for, she said I forgive that man right so that we can learn from this really um, um, amazing person who really dedicated her life for God and always had God first and nothing else and so from her look what can we learn from Santa Scorsese it's actually how we are really having that strict discipline of really examining our conscience and our sins. And one sin that I want to bring forward is our sexual sins that we struggle with, especially with pornography, masturbation. We have easy access to the internet right now. It's very accessible. And so we have to educate, not ourselves, Yes, main, mainly we have to start with the, within ourselves to really refrain from this and really li live this virtuous, disciplined life of um, not just repressing, but really understanding the beauty of our sexuality, our body, and teaching this to our children. That's why we have beautiful teaching of the theology of the body by St. John Paul II in, uh, in the Catholic Church. And so we have to educate our children about these um, inappropriate things that come up, especially during in media of pornography, to our children so they may be aware of why this is bad. Yes, we have to bring it. Maybe in our culture, it's we shy away from bringing up these hot topics, but we have to bring them to um, uh, before our children so they may be aware, but in very simple languages. And so there's many resources of Catholic speakers like Matt Frad. Jason Everett. These are all Catholic American speakers that you can find just on YouTube. Just a click away. Just type in these names and you will be able to really uh, seek truth and find answers and how to explain these things to just young children and uh, teens and who can really be, uh, have be more aware of this. And it's very essential. And so today we can learn from Santa Scorsese um, to really have this custody of heart custody of eyes, right, to really live better disciples of, and also uh, to have this kind of nightlife, maybe during the day after lunch, stopping by the Blessed Sacrament, or in the evening, just once, spending some 10 minutes thinking about the different sins that we're struggling with. And with this, we will all be riding this Advent season with the Holy Family as we reflect on just different aspects of really living a chaste life, a disciplined life, a really strong spiritual life. So we may always be a saint, be like Jesus. And so with this, let us pray. 
Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's challenge. Every day before going to bed, let's examine our conscience. Let's start this habit today. Ejaculatory Prayer Lord, protect me from all evil.